The CAS Plus exam is the CompTIA Advanced Security Practitioner exam. This exam is a lot more advanced than A Plus or Net Plus or Security Plus. It's so advanced that CompTIA actually recommends that you have at least 10 years of experience before you even take the test. By the way, I'm Dwayne from ITMasterKey.com and I just want to give you a few cliff notes about taking the CAS Plus exam. The exam is going to cover things such as, I'm going to make sure I get it right, I'm looking at my notes. Uh, the exam covers things such as uh, risk management, which is going to be a really big part of CAS as well as Security Plus. What I've found is, is that Security Plus um, makes CAS Plus a whole lot uh, easier. The CAS Plus exam pretty much builds on the Security Plus exam. A lot of the topics that are on the CAS Plus are in um, Security Plus. The only difference is the CAS Plus goes way deeper, like way deeper, way deeper. Um, the CAS Plus, pretty much, if you took that as your first exam, it would be pretty rough, man. It would be pretty rough because the information is presented in a way that you should already know this stuff, right? You should already know this stuff. It's not too much, what is this, what is that? but how you actually implement is pretty much you are the chief security officer and a organization is dependent on you to make sure everything is safe. So a lot of things are um, presented in a way that you should already notice. Pretty much going inside of the testing center, the test is presented in a way as if you got 10 years of experience, you got a couple certifications and you work in the field. So me personally, CAS Plus being your first exam is a terrible idea. Maybe the worst ever. <laughs> but so, uh, uh, if you wanted to um, take the exam, study really hard. And um, like I said, those are the prerequisites. Not the prerequisites, but those are the uh, suggestions that you have um, all that experience. So, first thing they're going to talk about is uh, risk management. Another thing they're going to go over is enterprise security. So, enterprise security is security that deals with um, organizations, right? So organizations need to have things secured, have things uh, safe, whether it's data, whether it's physical security. So that's going to be a big part of the exam as well. Next up is going to be uh, technical integration. Um, what that means is that as new technology comes out, how you actually integrate it within your organization. Cloud computing is hot. Um, so how do you actually implement that securely inside of your organization? Automation is um, a hot topic. How do you implement that securely? Um, AI is um, really big. Virtual reality is really big. Augmented, augmented reality. How can you implement those things safely inside your organization? Uh, next up are research methods. How can you, what do you use to research um, trends? Uh, news and new technology so research and development so you research things and then you develop them and you actually implement them inside of an organization right so those are the main things that's going to come up on the exam um, the exam itself uh, I don't need to look at my notes anymore uh, the exam itself is 165 minutes and you got a maximum of 90 questions most or all uh, CompTIA tests are on a scale up to 900, except this test. All right, this test um, is pass or fail, which kind of sucks. It kind of sucks a little bit, to be honest with you, because a lot of times if you take an exam and the pass score is 725 and you get a 3, you kind of know, like, oh, I need to really study. Or if you get a 650 out of 700, so on and so forth, you kind of know where um, you stand. This is pass or fail, man. Like, if you pass, fantastic. If you fail, you fail, you got to take it again. Um, the cost of the exam itself is a uh, $439. So, um, if I was you, I would prepare, study up. Um, if you plan on taking the exam soon, uh, we have a course, a uh, CAS Plus course and development right now. It should be uh, available in the next couple months. Uh, our course also, if you don't have a Security Plus, and at least five years of experience, we won't accept you inside of the course. Just because we want to make sure that um, you set yourself up for success. Because if you take, if I took CAS Plus in my first exam, I probably wouldn't have any certifications because it would have just crushed my dreams because I failed it miserably, probably. And another thing is, 
um, with certifications. Um, uh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, back on track. Um, with certifications, test anxiety is real, right? So once you get in there, you're going to be nervous, and then the first question may throw you off, and if it's CAS Plus and you only got like a year of help desk and no certifications, the first question is going to be like, what the hell are they talking about? What? You know, it's not even going to look like English. But anyway, um, this video was about CAS Plus. Like I said, um, if you're interested in uh, joining the course, you can head over to itmasterkey.com. We're actually um, enrolling right now for the course. It should be up at the latest uh, December, at the earliest probably August, right? But um, it's actually filling up faster than I expected, but that's cool. If you want to go over there, you can.